In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and taking a quick look at this motherboard. This is an ASRock 990FX Extreme 3. And it's an AMD motherboard supporting the AM3 CPUs. 8 core ready. Take a look at the rest of the box here. Some product information. And then on the back, some more information and specifications. Okay, so let's get to the fun part anyway. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, first of all, we've got a nice colored I.O. shield. I really like, uh, really like to see these. Just takes away some of the blandness of the back of the case. Not that you look at it a lot, but it certainly helps. Got some uh, 6 gigabit of second SATA cables. One is a 90 degree, and one is a straight on and straight on. We've got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack or, rather, not really an audio jack but an audio cord then we have a software setup guide for the board we have the quick installation guide although it is in different languages so I was gonna say it might not be quick but we have English is this many pages here, so it's not too bad. And we have a driver's disc with it. And then here, uh, inside of this, we have an SLI bridge. And then we have the motherboard. So, let me get it out of the bag and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here we have the board. We'll start off at the rear I.O. We've got uh, the PS2 ports there, which is always kind of a nice addition to have at least one of them. And then next to it, we've got a digital audio and an optical digital audio. And we have two, four, six USB 2.0 ports. Gigabit Ethernet, eSATA, USB 3.0, and HD audio. Now coming around to the front of the board, uh, right off the bat we'll start at the oops, start at the bottom here. We've got uh, with the slots we've got a 16, 16, and 4 here, so you could run SLI or Crossfire here. And then around the board, let's take a look. We've got uh, two, four, five. SATA 6 gigabit a second connectors, the four DIMM slots, socket AM3, we've got a 24 pin power there, and around the board we've got an 8 pin power for the CPU there. Let's get a little closer, I guess I skipped over this, should go back, we've got a PCI Express by one, a PCI slot, and another PCI slot, sorry about that, I missed that from before. So that gives a quick look around the uh, important parts of the board. Now we'll dig down a little bit closer. Got HD audio there. Got a COM port if you so choose to use it. We've got three USB 2.0 front panel headers. We've got a four pin chassis and a three pin chassis fan. There's the front panel power and LED connectors. Speakers there and the power LED is there as well if you have a 3-pin for the uh, front panel power LED. And we've got another chassis fan there that is a 3-pin. And up top we have, let's see if I can angle the camera a little better. There we go. Up top we have two CPU fans, one 3-pin and one 4-pin. And I believe 
Okay, here, yep, right into there. Let's see, come down a little bit, get a little better light. There we go. We also have another three pin power fan there. So that kind of rounds out the fan headers, which there are plenty of them, and that's always good to see. Of course, this is a, I would call it not quite premium, but it's definitely a mid or maybe even a high mid range ATX board. Uh, so the features are definitely showing that off. Okay, so anyway, that is a look at the board, and that about wraps up the video here. So, yeah. Anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching.